But you know what? I'm gonna go out of my way to make sure that you don't ever get to talk to a weapon. It is now in my job description to make sure that you are the most basic of bitches. <laughs> so I'm never allowed to uh, to get the uh, the sword that I can hum royalty music free, royalty free music with. There we go. That's the right order. Look, Bob, we need to keep, we need to keep this monetized. What are you planning to go ahead and just get like a ukulele sword? No. <laughs> he wants he wants the the uh, the white. It's called the, a Lutana. The, thank you very much. The the Green Rangers, um, fucking the Humblade. The... That's what he's gonna get. I can't. I like oh man, I gotta remember what that is now. Dagger. Mm, dagger of summoning. I need a ukulele dagger. I need ten levels in rogue, ten levels in bard, and I'm gonna fuck shit up. What is your precision with ukulele? I don't uh, understand. It's perfect for royalty free music. It's not though. It's everywhere. It it it's everywhere. Okay, it's but that's like. I mean, any instrument could be good for royalty-free music as long as you're not playing. I mean, that is true, but it, there's a large presence of ukulele. You'd be surprised if you go look up a, a royalty-free music. Why, why do you spend your time finding these things out and not like studying, or you know, doing coursework or taking a midterm before the night it's due? I did. I did that today. It's called the Dragon Zord Flute. Uh Yeah. Also, I'm just going to hit you with uh, what my dad would say in the situation, which is my favorite. He would look at all the random shit that you say, Austin, and say, boy, if you had brains, you'd be dangerous. But you don't. So just keep mouth breathing. <laughs> Fucking bees. Fucking bees, man. I have one that is also not green, that's nice. I'll trust the advice from a bee puncher. That's a few levels ascended beyond humanity, so <laughs> I'm okay with that. Look, you're not allergic to bees. You don't understand what it's like to our kind. Actually, I think he is. Are you? I'm not. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I didn't think so. We're in danger. I've, I've met a lot of people that are allergic to bees, and none of them act like as much of a bitch around any kind of bug as you do. No, the other bugs are just because I don't like bugs. The fear of bees is the fact that I don't want to go to a hospital. I that is, that's my only beef with bees. Otherwise, bees are great. I love honey. Bees are I fantastic. I walked barefoot through your guys' jungle. That, yeah, shit, that, that shit's fine. No, no, nah, that ain't fine. Like, I didn't have any ticks? It means it's all good. Mm -mm. Stop mm -mm. worrying about it. No, I don't want to take that chance. <laughs> well, I've had worse things stuck to my skin before. Bub is just losing it here. He's just like, I can't handle this. They don't, under they don't understand that I just don't like bugs. Bugs freak me out. Fuck we that. understand it. It just doesn't make any sense. It's not that I'm we don't okay with them far it. away. I've lived in like, fucking videos Florida, of spiders dude. In cages, and I've gone to the yeah. reptile store. I'm not scared yeah. of spiders there. You live in Florida. Yeah. The buggiest place. I know. It's almost like I'm paranoid of bugs all the time. That's the reason I don't like going near trees. The bugs. <laughs> look, look, have you See ever. See that tree over there? Killed... Fuck that one. <laughs> and the one next to it? You know, all of them. Look, Fuck look, all those I trees. Got really, I have Period. really bad vision, but I can spot a bug from about 400 yards away on a tree. Trust me on that. Don't quote me. Trust also, me, don't but it. don't quote me. <laughs> God damn, you excelled. You you know what? You teach bullshit 101, don't you? <laughs> oh, the stupid. If there was a here. there was a course on how to fill empty air. <laughs> He was the only person that took that class. No, no, He's... no. He took that class. He wasn't supposed to be in it. <laughs> you walked he didn't into find the wrong that room. out for six months. Look, sixes look like nines if you're standing on your hands. I'm waiting on the logical reason for why he would be standing on his hands at this point. No, yeah, sure. Matter. No, I can't fucking stand on my hands. I don't know what the fuck you expect of that. that, that that's a hero. I can't fucking. I can tell you right now, gravity and me, we don't get along that well. Not enough for me to do hands. You just don't get along with any of the natural laws of the world. No, because they're all shitty. Thank you.
Yeah, fuck physics. Have you looked at a physics equation? All of them, they're assholes. They're just so sticky and constricting. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, why like can't bees. I float upwards? Wouldn't Maybe you rather be just shooting into space? Yeah. Yes. I mean, oh my god, all these universal laws. It's I hate laws! Like the theory of motion? Pfft. Gross. Fuck 12. Oh, gross. You just can't well. believe in science. It's all taught by the government anyways. Well, Smoothbore here is still a little <laughs> upset at you, so... Or wait, no, no, no that's Will I'm supposed to be pissed with. Taxation is theft. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what just happened, but... <laughs> what, I can't make insane leaps in logic? You're like a fucking walking YouTube video from 2016. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch! <laughs> That's from a little, a little longer. <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. I'll run with it. Whatever. <laughs> Sniper just keeps getting shorter and shorter with his IQ. <laughs> See, it's this is the reason that I, I I look at I look at the numbers on stream and I'm like, we used to do so well. <laughs> What yeah, happened? taxation's totally theft. <laughs> you say across government-subsidized data lines. Now the government doesn't care what people think. We know that. At least in regards to taxation. Rugby, thank you so much for the one year, bud. I appreciate that. One full year, the best DM I've heard, and greatest laughs I've had. Wow. Well, we are glad that you find amusement at our retardation. It's not the Wednesday game. It's every stream but the Wednesday game. It's everyone but. He just happens to be here. Well, they laugh. Game. They laugh at this game. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They laugh at this game. Oh! I, I would be willing to bet that the other games kind of look at us as the redheaded stepchild of the bunch. You think the other games know about us? That's fucking funny. <laughs> I can hold. <laughs> they were like, they know about it. But here's here's the thing. When I tell them that we we've played for 150 sessions, they're like, "But why though? <laughs> you have that much content that you can do that long? That's like around three years." It's like with these guys, it's closer to four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Was four in what January? Something, some bullshit. Yeah, like that. something like that. Fuck, if I know. Yeah, I lost track at like 130 episodes. Yeah. Yes. So, You're actually, a lot of YouTube creator look towards this stream. A lot of people are actually very impressed that this game has gone on that long because they don't really see why a game can last longer than 15 to 20 sessions. When they find out that a game has lasted more than 20 sessions, they're like, "Wow." That's like the game of legend. I've had people freak out when I tell them that a session lasts six hours. I've had people that are like, what? That's forever. And I'm like, I mean, I'll they admit, don't I, anymore. I have they moments. At one point. I have these weird moments occasionally where it's like, okay, this game's, this game's got to end sometime. I think I might bow out. And then... He realizes he does nothing else with his Wednesday nights. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's, it's either this or Bojangles, and I fuck. I mean, I guess I might as well be here. I just I keep lowering that bar. I expected to come in for quality role play and all that. Manually, he's doing it himself. He is lowering the bar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, expectations are here. Not today. They're here. There we go. Yeah, Red just, starts it talking, it's like, I gotta keep pushing it down. <laughs> you miss the point where he gets the shovel out, starts digging. <laughs> no, that's when you start. How low can you go? It's not supposed yeah. to play to the bar. Yeah. What is the challenge rating of my balls? Yeah. What, 160. That's deep. when I had to really dig deep. <laughs> I had to dig deep, too. To find my nuts. Because I was old. Just kind of brushing them along courts for, you know. If you're older, does brushing them along foreheads and all that. 
I, I think if you get older, your CR rating goes up on your pulse because you can use them as a flail. They're more dangerous. <laughs> Fucking Grandpa Stone Sack over here. <laughs> Wait, Ward's not in this game. <laughs> that you know of. That little fucker's sneaky. Somewhere in the distance, way off in the Northlands that we haven't been to yet, there's just a dude going around with a sack. Fucking the Northlands? You we're guys are we're like so far south. A sixteenth of the map. Yeah, I know. Everything is the Northlands. <laughs> Imagine except way for, far north at the very top. Except for like me. four trees. Yeah. Four whole trees on the map. <laughs> we're Everything more north is north. The Forgotten Realm, and that's all that matters. What about me, though? Everything's the Southland for me. I mean, I guess... Whatever, man. Fuck. <laughs> That's the kind of response we're looking for. <laughs> you want to know how low my bar has gotten, bub? I stick around because one of these days, we're going to force you to quit. And that means we win. We're all just too stubborn to quit this game. <laughs> That's the end goal. It's just—it's just, it's a really, really painful game of Uncle. Off enough to just shut down Zoom, shut off stream, and just say, you know what, we're fucking done. Just imagine. Rocks Bob fall, had, everyone dies. Call another hole in the game planned for it. Yeah. That's when we hear Ludo in the background. I did. I did have another yeah. game. Yeah. Time to go ahead and bring out Rise of the Rune Lords. That's not next. <laughs> No, we're playing with worms. <laughs> I'm definitely not giving you guys that beautiful game to freaking a dumpster. <laughs> I thought I was guaranteed a spot on that one. <laughs> not Rise. Not with this crew. You can get in the next game, but you're not getting Rise. Don't give I'll in, show bub. you, Rise. Oh, my God. Oh, so. We'll break his will one day. We already broke this will. <laughs> I'm dead inside. <laughs> hey, welcome to the ranks of those that are also dead inside. Yeah. Been here for years. We did go Sometime. ahead and kill your will to live. So, Ulheim has had a lot of action this game. Oh, yeah, because, you know, he, he went off to do one thing and then completely did other stuff without, <laughs> without even informing the rest of us. Some of us may have wanted to go ahead and well, see are, the Are you two dude. married? We're, we're kind of married. Nope. We're a little married. Nope. <laughs> they sound like a married couple. Well, they do. we're a little married, but I did it strictly to piss my father off. <laughs> Things I'm not surprised about for a thousand. Nabi Kins doesn't like you dating dwarves. Is that what's uh, going on here? You will not get my blessing with this union. Fuck you, Dad. <laughs> Oldheim cares about me. Means to an end. I wish I could just bite my tongue off. Oldheim's <laughs> over here like... <laughs> well, see, look, I took care of the dumbass. Kept him out of trouble. Kept him alive. That's good, right? That's that's on this side of the alignment chart. All right, Christy, that is the clip of the night. He's like, and then they're like, "That you have an ulterior motive. You you took oh, care God, of him please for link personal gain." That to link that to the Twitter feed. And I'm like, yeah, but Just, this is what you problem. missed. Please <laughs> send help. Send quality role play. I have been gnashing into my own tongue for the last hour, hoping <laughs> that I hit a vein or something that would put me out of my misery. Where is your god now? <laughs> Apparently someone's letting God sort me out at this point. He's taking a sweet time. You've been thrown to the wolves. Let God sort him, man. But yeah, it's uh, whoever's going next. Uh, anyone! Fucking anyone! Klaus, you're up. Mm hmm. Yep, Mr. Dreiner. <laughs> I don't 
care. I, I don't care if you're like, I spend the next half hour wiping my ass. I would like for you to tell me about it because I need to get back into any content at this point. It's like a marker, man. I just wipe and wipe and wipe. I mean, if no one's got anything, I'm down to do the guardhouse thing. Just put it out there. <laughs> you have to go back and tell them or they won't know. You don't have a cell phone. <laughs> Just, just say it. Just put it out there. He sends the tags B or B going just, to the guardhouse. Hey! <laughs> Anybody? No? <laughs> Alright, fuck it. <laughs> I'm telling them right now as a player if, one, if none of them are doing anything. I'm not saying this in character. I'm saying like if none of them have anything to do, I will continue on with the next part. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. All I gotta say is, please do not have me have Jacob do anything on his own. Cause every time I go out to do something on my own, somebody dies. I'm, I've got to look. Usually by your own doing. Gotta watch that clip. At my viewer base. Totally not by my doing. To see if there's new people here in chat, uh, because I need to apologize to them. <laughs> Six feet no, over. Arden. They're in Babo Frazier. Draven. Babo, wait, whoa, what? Alyssa the Dutch. Freak. Ho Maru. We've got a couple here. What's up, Patches? How you doing? Random Dooms. Zbudnik. How you doing, Zbudnik? Sorry, guys. Tiddly Fire. Oh. And you. UK Crater? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mostly. God, Bub, do it right. Just go name by name. Just like X. I'm sorry. Why? I'm sorry. You have to do it like the, uh, See, the commercial from so South Park for the BP sorry. spill. It's always weird when the TV I'm says sorry. my name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Woos! I'm sorry. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Uh, Arden, I... Uh, well, if this is your first time in, everybody... <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope I'm that you sorry. you haven't. You're um, sorry. You fucking knew what you were getting into. If, if you came in with expectations, we are yeah. going to disappoint you so hard. Listen, man. If you see episode 151 on a <laughs> D and D cast, you know some fucking silly shit's gonna go down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed the show thus far. Um, there's certainly not a lot of it left. Um, Content-wise, it's it's a thing. <coughs> They've discovered some things, which is great. But I'm afraid they're not going to get a whole lot more done. Um, I would like to remind them, though, uh, that you guys are on a timetable. We're always on a timetable. Well, two weeks have passed already. You have about two to two and a half before Dougal Brass is slated to be uh, extinguished. And if you do not do that yourselves, the, your city will be set ablaze entirely by an oh, army. Oh, that's of... entirely on Ulheim. Yeah, well, if you're in the city, that counts for you too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they can try to set us on fire. All right, I'll uh, I'll head back to the guys and let them know. What Hot I damn! Talked about okay, with uh, Dugo Bras, or uh, not with Dugo Bras, with uh, the Blue Duke. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to walk my way back. <laughs> okay. You can do that. You walk all the way back. You reach the confines of the bathhouse. Yes. Everyone is apparently playing Heads Up 7 Up. Games do not last long. There's only four of them. Yeah. Play some duck duck goose. Yeah, Klaus and Jacob are just arguing um, about what color to paint the walls. Musical chairs. So <laughs> as I get back, I will call all of them into the main hall. I'm gonna kill that dog. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm I walk back to the bathhouse and I'm gonna fucking kill that dog. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna buy four bricks of C4 and just attach it to them. Holy shit! <laughs> Just send them send him in the goblin pit. <laughs> just, just blow That's him. how we deal with our <coughs> It's going to be um, like an yeah. episode of Just Cause. You know, the dog uh, just flips up. As I uh, as I get back, uh, and I, they all gather around. 
but is Cord able to attend his meeting? Is is am I at a relatively stable state? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are. Just that for does not my matter. sanity. Yes. You, are. <laughs> you wake up with renewed vigor. I feel like you are good middle. to go. You are you are eager to meet the world head on. All right, hell yeah. Apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> All right. Dude, it's, so, it's this fucking weird shit I got. Uh, I've uh, went to go talk to the Blue Duke, and it turns out he actually may be able to help us with quelling the vampire threat. Though there are going to be additional steps that I need to take before that actually gets done. Should we be worried about them turning into vampires? <laughs> and Jacob's that gonna I'm kind of, sure of Jacob's I... gonna look aside to Klaus. Didn't we have suspicions about the Blue Duke to start with? He's <laughs> not someone we need to worry about at the moment, or at all. How do you figure? I've talked with him. He's secretive, but for the most part, he seems forthright in protecting his people. For the most, he's part. a murderer. I know what you're referring to, and I've heard his his side of the story. It's Fat, what a good that did you. He was true enough about it. Court's gonna cast his gaze over in Thelsa's direction. Is if everybody going, in this fucking city just crazy? If we're going by that standard, then shouldn't she not be here? I didn't care about her family. Did you care about who the Blue Duke killed? In a way. Look. What were their names? He killed... He killed some acquaintances of mine, and one that I was looking for information from. Oh. That matters to me. As of right now, we have to set those feelings aside. There's a lot of things we have to get done. And we are on a time table of two weeks. Well, two weeks before you have to go ahead and kill our friend. Yes. Is there another something happening in two weeks that I'm just not aware of this time? No. Because, you know, last I checked, we had a lot of things on our plate that we have to go ahead and try and handle. Look, I'm just trying to fix whatever we can while we can. <clears throat> this is what we're getting done. All right. I'll so our... Dugo, I'll talk to Dugo Bras to see if he can help us. Apparently the vampires are very susceptible to fire. I have the, the ability to conjure an elemental from from his plane and he himself is made of fire so he could help us on top of that the blue duke has been at least currently willing to help us with an army of 100 to 200 people and here I thought we were going to turn our attentions to Iverson We need to make allies first before we start trying to take on more enemies. At the very least, this will put us in some good standing with the Blue Duke if everything plays out correctly. As of right now, though, I need to go talk to the guard captain to ensure that we can get his men properly outfitted. Apparently, they've been wearing nothing but scrap metal and torn leathers. <coughs> All right. Well, I would definitely recommend not going alone. I After all, go. I'm not currently being looked out for. He's going to kind of cast a glance at Jacob, Thelsa, and the giant spider in the room. So, what is your plan with the goblins then? Just charge an army into a pit? Burn them all. That's pretty much the plan. But well, it won't worry. be without some tactic. Why not, why not create some kind of barrier for them? We, we're I going can to. 
create a wall of fire, if that's any aid to you. It will be. But um, would we have we we would have a map of Cauldron and like the region of it somewhere in this place, right? What do you mean? What exactly are you hoping to have? Well, um, would I have enough knowledge of the the back entrance of where the Drekthar's way is? Would I would I already know about that? Oh, Klaus would. No, you guys would not have that. But yes, Klaus would be aware of it. Klaus was uh, did exit Drekthar's way. Um, okay. He is. It's in the past, but he is familiar enough with it. He could find his way out. Okay. Well, as far as I know, there's only one point in and out of this place. If we can funnel them at least here, and he kind of points out the, at least the part that they've been through. If we get them where that giant boneyard was, we can at least lock a good portion of them in. We can kill them ourselves, and whatever's left straggling, we can take care of. As I said before, I myself have a fire element, so I can conjure. It also has a wall of fire. And we have Dugo Bras, if he's willing. Hard to ask a man you're about to kill for a favor. Possibly, but he's a good man nonetheless, and asking him doesn't hurt. I suppose not. Any objections? I could take a few of the orcs and lead them to the funnel. You can die, you little orphan. I'm just kidding. With you. <laughs> <laughs> why, why must Dugo Bros die? <laughs> that was pretty much on par with slamming someone's face into the fucking desk. Got Malgrim. No, I'm just kidding. That's not nice. <laughs> Malgrim nice. pops off from behind one of the curtains. You should die, you fucking orphan. Just goes back in. Let's roll back into the story. That's so, Malgrim. Why must Tuco Brass die? He's a betrayer. And uh, once again, uh, he pulls out the soul ore, showing everyone. Dugo Brass also has this. What is this? It's known as soul ore. With it, it can be crafted into extremely powerful items or relics using the life force of the person that it was extracted from. So, that being said, Dugo Bras, not Dugo Bras, well, yes, Dugo Bras actually did make an item for Nap the Torn. What that item is, I don't know. But it was constructed. So killing his body will not be enough. We will have to find that item and destroy it as well. I see. I'd like to speak with him before he is doomed to perish. When do you plan on killing him? After he finishes constructing this. Then we'll talk to him soon. I would make haste with it. I'm gonna get up and start heading over there right away. Kill him. I stab her in the back with a pencil. Uh, <laughs> to the blade. No, that's that's not nice. That's not nice. We should continue on with the store. No, we should we should do that. Like that idea. That um, shift. God, I'm gonna cast weird. <laughs> You're weird. Yeah. Okay. Phantasmal killer on everybody within uh, 45 feet of me. Christ. Cool. Nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, you you don't die, but the other three. <laughs> Egan, we have no fears. Dead. Also, Dugo um, Bros dies, and my point was made. <laughs> I, uh, once I, I essentially informed him of that, I will, uh, make my way to, uh, Master Skeel Rang's, uh, abode. Okay. Or hovel, or shack. Is anybody going? Is anybody going with him? 
I believe Cord is. Cord, Cord is the only one who can actively walk through the town without merely being handcuffed. Or tomatoed. Yeah, that's... You are right on every also, facet. Cord, Cord literally okay. ran around the whole city and everyone was just like, what are you doing, bro? Is it really just us two? Are we like... Is it literally like... Jacob well, literally stabbed someone and then ran away from Kiana, and he murdered his entire family, went to yeah, an orphanage. Nobody knows street. that, though. Nobody knows I murdered my whole family. No, so I just everyone streets, knows. I just looked like a half demon. Oh, that's right. He was disguised the whole time, or, in, or invisible. Yeah, they don't know it was me. They yeah, know yeah, it was so. family. Well, and, okay. and Klaus is a drider, so... Yeah. Klaus probably shouldn't walk outside. I mean, I, I did also, fly outside before. You ha you it didn't have. seem to be that big of a deal. Someone's um, walking outside with all of their dirty laundry. They step out and they see the flying Spider-Man and they're just like, nope. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not, right not back inside, thing. door shuts. Yeah, just not fucking today. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, he's shit, like every, it's Wednesday. He's all every Tuesday, he's also the same thing. <laughs> Close the uh, door, but, first uh, a dragon, now a drider. The weather's like improved. Imagine everything's normal in Shackled City, and then Wednesday comes, and then all of our shit happens on only Wednesday. And the town is just fucked. Every Wednesday, the citizens come out and just go, oh, fuck, it's Wednesday. Um, what the fuck's gonna happen today? Oh, shit, I already used that. But yeah, I will... Uh... Who, who's who's coming with me? It's just court. Court, yeah. yes. Okay. You you make uh, your yeah. way through the town uh, unopposed. Uh, can, can I do RP with him? Yeah, by by all means, go for it. Okay, so so we start power walking. That's not true. We're gonna normal walk. My legs hurt <laughs> as an undead. Um, <laughs> power stance. <laughs> uh, so as we're walking, uh, I I kind of slow the pace a little bit. How are you feeling, boy? sword back but you're, you're not gonna want you're not gonna want that back it's it's been tainted with with malice and murder then I'm going to destroy it if I have to I understand if you do I really do but we we can't do that now He's going to kind of that wipe, a, wipe a tear away from his eye. I know. There's a power in it that... I hate to say, but Thelsa needs... That we need at this point. And we can't make enemies of the people that we're... Supposed to be calling friends. No matter the circumstances. When this is all done... After we've slain whatever keeps coming here, I'm getting rid of that. Just know that. If that's the last thing I have to do. I can't stop you from carrying out your justice, boy. And I won't try to. But keep in mind that the memory of your, mas of your master is, is more than that sword. It's in here. He kind of taps him on the chest. I get it. I really do. It, it means a lot to you. It's both a good and a bad memory, a reminder of where you came from. I don't even know what happened. I know. But I'll tell you this. I'll help you find out who caused you this pain and I'll help them I'll help you bring them to justice if I can I... but I can't have you like this you can't run you can't run from us not from those who are trying to help you we should get going to the card but thank you He's giving him a slow nod and kind of pats, gives, gives him a heavy pat on the back. Let's go, lad. And we start power walking our way to the <laughs> Walking our way downtown. 
Fuck he does. That. He does that unnecessary like arm like thrust forward. He's not really changing the pace. It's just you're doing like, the Jaden Smith stress. run. Yeah. So. Turns his, he he turns his fist into a little five uh, five pound dumbbell. He's just like, oh, you get down by the way. You use my walk and scale around. I'm a scale ring. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, obviously. They walk with a limp. Oh. And then I see a little cat in the corner. I punch him in the face. No, I'm just kidding. That's not. That's not nice. We should continue on with the campaign. Okay. All right. So you are going to arrive at the guard captain's building. Correct. I need to look at one thing first. Just one thing. See, we could consider that toasty, but it 115% wasn't on accident. And I just nuke the shit out of the tavern. I call it my 25 kill streak on the center of Golden. Moab inbound. What would, what would happen if you like were to a, Moab Cauldron? Uh, everyone well, would die. That's just, no, yeah. not. But because of the fact that that's it's not just like a small shallow pool. Like, would if you if you were to realistically drop a drop a bomb over a Cauldron into the center, would it just go deep in and then blow up like a depth charge? No, it would, like, it would it would kill everyone. Well, it would it would it hit the water and explode? Because I don't I don't I don't know no. missile ballistics. No, I'm not really familiar with happen. much of the way ballistics either. I'm sure that there well, is someone. All you aspiring those... missile ballistics experts, please answer our question. It, it doesn't it doesn't drop into the uh, into the into the center. It it hovers probably a few feet, uh, a few Oof. hundred feet above uh, where it's supposed to be blow from, and then sniper you muted. Sorry about that. So, I mean, are are we really wanting to go into this right now? No. Probably not. No. Okay, then we'll go ahead and discuss it afterwards. Fantastic. Discuss okay. what? Oh, you're talking about that, yeah. A figure is stepping outside of the primary building. He is wearing what looks to be um, a reddish-purple robe with white, uh, kind of like a, a, a white ribbon around the top of it. There is a... Uh, a brass necklace piece that goes around his neck. He has long golden hair, a very friendly and inviting smile. Faces that court you are probably not aware of. Ulheim, you may have seen in passing. If you want to give me a wisdom, we'll see if you recall who this might be. Is it Mavu? No. Okay. Actually, yes, uh, you have seen him. You've never spoke with him. But this is the Lord Mayor. Lord Mayor Volantru. The Lord Mayor. Yes. Gives him a gives him a, a deep bow. Look at you a curtly nod. Good day, what citizen. To, what brings you to the guardhouse today, uh, good mayor? Well, I wanted to speak to our guard captain in hopes of discovering any new tidings inside of the town. You must understand that dark times fall upon Cauldron, and I wish only the best for our people. I agree. He has an, an uncanny uh, grin to his person. His mouth almost seems too wide. Like it's a maw, almost? Borderline, yeah. I'll actually show you a picture. I'm going to go to full screen so everyone can see this. Oh, boy. That's Mark Hamill's Joker. <laughs> That's him right there. Oh, ugh. Ugh. It's like Stuff. a Legolas and fucking oh, Bill I remember Bobbins that had a face. kid. Legolas and who? <laughs> Bill Bobak. <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre that you went immediately to that. Uh, but yes, that is that is Lord Valantru. <clears throat> um yeah I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll agree with uh, his statement his uh, statement and sentiments I agree given given the dark times uh, me and my compatriots are trying to bring a little light into to this dark time 
I trust that you've been dutiful in, in your actions. If you're coming to see the, the guard captain himself, you are under his employ, yes? Uh, to an extent, I do mostly volunteer uh, patrols around the lower quarter. You might have seen me from time to time at the uh, churches of Cuthbert's uh, prior to... I think I have, yes. Yes, and we're organizing our our effects now so that we may see <laughs> the return of St. Cuthbert's. Um, good Mayor, I, I have a question for you, uh, if you would indulge me. By all means, I am elected by the people, so allow me to aid you as much as I possibly can. He kind of, he takes a step forward, kind of not really whisper, but to kind of just make, make the conversation a little more personalized. What's your take, really, on the orcs? The orcs? Why do you ask? Well, I've walked their encampment and for assisting the guards and the people, they seem a little underfunded. Not to say that you're not doing your best to, to hand out reparations where they could go, but I would think our city's defenders could use a little more help in that capacity, don't you think? <coughs> if you believe that the half-orcs that reside inside of the city's walls deserve to be paid more, it is something that I will bring up to um, those that are assisting in the funding of them. I do believe that they may be mildly impoverished, but they do not go without. The needs are met. They sleep inside of protected walls. They are given arms and armor, even if not the best. We recognize that they may be slightly impoverished by most mundane standards. But outside of the walls is a very different tale. You've seen the beasts, have you not? I have. But I've also seen the wardens as well. The wardens have not come to our aid as of yet. We wanted to get a word out to them, but everyone that we send seems to never make it back. I thought they had a sign here not a few months ago. Rather they did. Large, beastly man. They did. For a brief time. And yeah, nothing came about it? Nothing that we've seen. I will take into consideration your, your words, though. If you believe that they deserve to be uh, paid more, it's something that I will raise to call. But I must forewarn you that we had decided very early on that they would be paid a handsome or a comfortable amount. They say that you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot force them to drink. And this lot... Well, let's just say that I didn't have to lead them to the water. They've been drinking a fairly large amount. There are a few locations that are doing very well. The Tankard, Manuta's board, they're all doing very well for themselves. We've had to recently put in requisitions for more berries, for wine. And in all of the time that I've been the Lord Mayor, we've never had to do that. We have seen an increased thoroughfare of half-orc activity at these locations. And while it is a sad sort, I believe that they are drinking away all of their funds. But it's something that I will raise contingent or idea to in their favor. I have recently seen their encampment, and it does seem that they go without. Maybe we had miscounted, or they were misrepresented when discussing their wages. Money is tight, but we we may be able to 
cut the funding elsewhere to provide them with more. And your name, dwarf? I go by Helm. Helm. Very good. I will pass a new tax. We'll call it Helm's Tax. You must understand he his, that... He puts his hand up. I don't think taxing the people more would be necessary. Well, you you believe that protection is valuable, is it not? I do, but not at the cost of the town. We've already seen the riots. Well, who do you think pays the wages of our average guard? You think it is pulled for bounty from my pocket? No. Good man. The people, the people, insinuate. the people here pay. And if you feel that there is value in such, I will initiate the Helms Act taxation cause to make sure that the half-orcs are taken care of. Before you make such a decision, would you allow me to sit in on one of these meetings to get an idea of what... I wish that Where I these could. Funds would be would be pushed. I wish that I could. It's a private matter, and we cannot have any outward influence, even if they remain silent. I can see that you have a an air of magic about you, and we wouldn't want you influencing anyone inside of the meetings. You think me dishonest? It's not that I think you dishonest, dwarf, but the others do not know you. To be honest, neither do I. But you seem of good character. All this time, he hasn't quite stopped smiling. I'll focus in on him. I'll cast that detect evil. When you cast detect evil, you hear a plink. A very audible plinking sound. The amulet on his chest rises briefly. And as it rises, that plinking noise, a visible lid shifts over the front of the amulet's pendant. And now you can see that there is an eye peering back at you. Did you just... Try some of your magic on me. I have my wards and my protection. And I am protected as such. You see that I walk with no armed guard, no barriers from the common man, while the last laugh still roams the street. You view me a fool, or incompetent of such. I always proceed with caution. Regardless of who I'm dealing with, may or not. You should proceed more carefully. A different man may perceive you as a threat and have you jailed or thrown out to the lions that lurk beyond the walls. You should tread it carefully, Helm. It's a good name. I'll remember that. He smiles, nodding to you, and he walks on. Stab him in the back with a pencil. Okay. I'll just, I'll keep my gaze fixed on him until he walks out of sight, and then uh, I'll kind of lean over to Court. Alheim, as you lean over to say something to Court, you see that the guards by the door are leaning in and they're trying to talk to themselves. Give me a perception. Forty-seven. Thirty-six. When you begin to lean into court to discuss something, you overhear the guards speaking. They're under under breath at this point. And one of them seems to look at you while he's talking to the other, and the other looks from where they're at over to you, and you can overhear him saying, This guy is going to have a tax raised in his name to fund those heathens in the southeast camp. 
They begin speaking all ill manner, but they keep it hushed. They see you watching, but they can only assume that you can't hear them. One of them, the other one that's that's not saying, he's like, what a fucking arsehole. I'll uh, break break away from court. You think it wrong to provide a higher wage for those who would be protecting the city? The other guard breaks away from from this group, the, the one that you're talking to, the one that called you an ass. He walks away, seemingly just moving at a very normal pace, but you find him sauntering over to another group of guards. You can clearly see from behind he throws his arm up with a pointed thumb in your direction. The other guards look up at you, and you can see their brows beginning to furrow. A few of them stand, but none of them move. I'll just look to court. Let's go. And I'll go towards the guardhouse. When you pass by the guard that you had just asked that question, he says, fucking asshole. Just look at him and I'll open the door on my own. I don't even want to fucking wait for him. Okay. I'm by the collar and I punch his fucking face. <clears throat> I stab him with a kitten. <laughs> with a kidney? With a kitten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get a cat and just go, goo! <laughs> just, meow! <laughs> yeah. Cat's just D sticking out of side. It's 12d12 12 damage. It's wow! Damage. Holy fuck! It's clawing at the inside. It's a natural attack. Conti continuous damage. You can't fumble. <laughs> deals right. sneak attack. It deals max sneak attack damage. If you okay. miss, if you miss, it gets to attack Sue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm actually gonna call it there. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there because we are quickly approaching that midnight spot. I want to give you an opportunity to think about what you're gonna say to the guard captain, and more oh, than anything, I want to give you an opportunity to think about what you have, you may have just done to the city. <laughs> What could go wrong? Hey, we either kill the vampires or we kill the people. All right, those are the only two options I'm going with. I want to no... see Dingle Bros. I'm no, gonna, I'm no gonna middle do ground, this. huh? I'm gonna be like, no. you come in here and riot. I call them from the bottom. They kill you. <laughs> City of the dead. Problem fixed itself. So they're like, oh shit. I'm like, that's what I thought. <laughs> ten ten gold per bath. So very fuck up and wash your ass. Get out. They're like, is it here? Is a new bath owner or a dick? I was like, what? What'd you say? <laughs> Eleven gold. I. It's like it's like a forty year old dude says it, and I just look at like the ten year old kid. I'm like, what? And they hit him with my gauntlet hand. I'm like, that's what I'm gonna do to you next time you speak out. <sighs> well, like, what do you think? And you and keep the like, podium for slamming their face into. Yeah. Dude, remember. Me and Mal me and Malgrim are going to come back. I'm going to lift them up and it's going to be like 3D goose through, through tables. Remember, tables. <laughs> when you go, there, there is more, there, there is far more in tabletop than just physical combat. While Bullshit. You, you may not have, uh, you may not have gone into a physical arrangement there. That was definitely a combat of sorts. You were trying to encourage something more there with um Helping with the lord mayor yeah and it it definitely took a it, it's turn. it sounded like it was going in your favor and it it wasn't yeah. hey I mean, gaming what's going on man thank you so much for it, that host i appreciate it brother it, it revealed it kind of revealed like oh like that's his character like that's that's what he's that's his game okay oh he's the taxation kind of guy no, but I mean, even when we, even when we first met him, even like when I was still playing Balthar, I knew there was something up. Like it didn't make sense where he was just like, "Yeah, here's this, here's all this gold, here's this money, here, yeah, this is I for mean, you last guys." Time and then he gave me plaid. He was cool. And then it was like, "Well, wait, where did all this shit come from?" And then you're like, "Oh, the people are are starving." <laughs> well, huh. <laughs> I, now where, I, I now get where I now get where for six hundred <laughs> platinum worth of items came from. <laughs> that was that was their money. Oh. What? 
So yeah, I I, I kind of had a feeling that it was gonna it was gonna turn like that. Um, and he, like I I feel realistically, he's not he's not a magical character in, in, in a way. He has magical items, but I think his he, you think he's, he's a that kind of character. NPC. I think he's the kind of character who's a level who's a level one NPC with level but 10 with people. with money. Yeah. Like he he has he has politics like he his power is essentially politics and I think that's a, a, kind of a lot scarier to deal with than a character that actually is an adventurer like us. Well, because we can't just slap him in the middle of the street with a sword. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Like his power isn't his power. That isn't won't go something. well for us. Sadly. Yeah. So I mean, watch and, and like, my like, He's a level from, twenty sorcerer. <laughs> no, a, no, that's not the case. He's not a level twenty sorcerer. He's from not your players, level. Yeah, I from a player standpoint, I think I think it's it's really cool to kind of have to deal with a character like that because it it can't be solved with just attacking him or violence. Yeah. Well, it can be. It's just going to be a short. Not you know, preferred. It's going to be a fearic victory. Yeah, your your campaign will hastily come to an end <laughs> if um, we murder the mayor. Yeah. Um. It would be. That's the whole town. Rough. On you. Yeah. It would be rough because. He's not necessarily seen as as a villain, right? He's, yeah, he's, he's actually a good man. he's beloved. He's beloved in the town, um, but you he's very much of the mindset that you've you've got to crack a few eggs, you know, in order to make an omelet. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it seems like he can blame all of yeah. The, if we're gonna be killing public officials, we need to make sure that we do it with a rogue. Yeah, in the middle of the night, in his rooms. All right, guys. Tune in next week when we get uh, Dancing Dan back on the show. Good lord. Yeah, no, if Dan was here, I have no doubt that he would have tried to He'd rob the politician, him. followed him to him. a back alley, and then just knife the shit out of him. It's completely. Stabbed yeah. him where'd, him the, on. where'd the mayor go? He's like, <laughs> I'm the mayor now. <laughs> this is Dan's Thaid culture. Wins, you, you, can't, you can't just call everything The sad name part is, I could see Thadwin doing that and then yeah. skinning the mayor. Oh, and wearing this is town. Wear, wearing his clothes and everything. I'm the mayor now. <laughs> this is this is Thadwin, This is Thadwin's cauldron. That's not how you rename places, but I guess it works. <laughs> wow, you own all of this. Yep. How did you do it? I killed the mayor. It's not <laughs> done like that. I killed the owner. <laughs> yep. Did you tell everyone? Yes. Yeah. Probably should have done that. <laughs> Probably should have <laughs> done that. <laughs> It's yes. not how assassination It's not how assassination Goodness works. gracious. Well, guys, we are going to... Uh, we're going to sign on out of here so we can do a, a post-show talk real quick. Um, and I think we're going to find someone that we can just hit with a host. Yeah, the, uh, the hostiest of hosts. Uh, Astro Pub's on, and... Yeah. Tonight was yeah, fun. If you guys have not followed yet, I encourage you to do so. Uh, every follow counts, and, well, I mean, this stream can't continue to grow without you sticking around and being lovely. So, I actually challenge you, the viewer, I challenge everyone who has hopped in here tonight and have decided to stick around. If you are watching, I would recommend that for next week, for next Shackled City, uh, episode 152, that you find someone. You find a stranger, you find a friend, or someone that is into tabletop gaming or storytelling in general. And give them this destination. Tell them about this place. Encourage them to come out. Sit with them. Or just tell them about it and cross your fingers. You know what I mean? Just hope for the best. Either way, tell someone about it. Bring some new faces in. I would love to see this game kick off the way that it has in the past. But I know that these early months in the year are super challenging. Yeah, they can be. Uh, well, so not only that, it's a lot more fun to talk about how stupid the players are when you have somebody else who's watched the game with you. Totally, totally, totally. That's uh, that's definitely the case. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to find someone to throw some love at here. Let's see who's online. Um, it looks like Astro is online. Um, and I've been meaning to talk with that clown, so we're just going to go ahead and, and throw it directly over. Thank you so much, Booze. I appreciate that, buddy. Thanks for the follow, man. Um, again, before we go, everybody should uh, should check out all the social stuff. 
Um, there you'll see that you'll have access to things like the Facebook, which is constantly growing, uh, the Twitter, which is a way to stay up on top of updates and what have you here. Just make sure that you've, you've clicked that to follow the discord, which is totally free. Lots of open and available lobbies for you to jump in and join people where there will most assuredly be a group of folks sitting in after we've closed stream. Um, there's also the YouTube, which this will get vodded and pulled up onto YouTube. I'm going to leave it to Christy and any to come up with a very bub name for this episode, because I don't know what the hell to name it. Um, yeah. And, uh, all, as always, there is the Patreon. Patreon is my, uh, it's my paycheck. You know, if you guys want to make sure that the lights can stay on, the stream can stay alive. And so can the dream check out Patreon and support at as low as a dollar a month, but as high as you'd like, maybe you want an NPC in the world. Maybe you would like to potentially get a free shirt, or you just want to put on some custom fails on the fail chart. There's some things that you can do. Check it out. Check it out. Okay? Thanks, guys. For absolutely everything, I'm going to host, not hopst, host the Astro Pub. Take it easy, guys. Peace. We're out of here. And we're gone.